Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, what part of the man are we drinking exactly? $50 million man is a 9% double IPA from Three Floyds Brewing Company in Munster, Indiana. I'm really happy to see that Three Floyds has continued to send new releases over from Indiana, and $50 Million Man is the latest to make the trip. So let's take a look at the label and we'll get it into a glass, but first I'd like to thank my executive producers, Brian Kramer, David Jeffries, Vinnie Cant, and Cam Freeman for helping to bring this review to you today. If you'd like to become a producer, help out the channel, or maybe just throw me a couple bucks to buy me a beer, take a look at my Patreon at patreon.drafttherapy.com where you can get early access to these videos and a few other special perks that are available only to patrons. Let's take a look at the label. If we look on the front here, uh, across the top, it says Three Floyds Brewing, Munster, Indiana, USA. It says the $50 million man, all in yellow. And it has a guy with a blue shirt on, orange gloves, a green guy, and he's uh, punching with little explosions coming off of his hands. He's like bursting through a wall or something. And it, it looks like an old comic book. So that's I think that's really cool. I think Three Floyds always does really interesting can art. I know that now it's been copied and imitated, never duplicated, but a lot, you know, they do really interesting can art. I think that they've always done really interesting label art. On the side here, it says collect all six, and there's six different faces from a bearded looking woman, but I could be wrong, to a space guy, looks like the incredible melting man, a lizard. Uh, another blue guy, a guy with a mohawk, and somebody like a robot with its, like a Westworld robot with its face taken off, and it says, he's not normal. Underneath that, it says alcohol 9% by volume. On the other side, it has the three Floyd skull. It says double India pale ale, and on the side, it says a highly secretive double IPA brewed for the Black Phoenix and astronaut Michael San Antonio to battle evil for the good of all mankind. Threefloyds.com. And this one was canned or packaged on January 5th, 2022. This is February 6th, so it's about a month old or so. It just got over here, uh, I'd say about a week ago. I picked this up probably last week. So we're going to use our Draft Therapy Tuku glass here. And let's crack it and put a nose on it. And let's see what we get on the nose here. It smells like a double IPA. There's a bit of a sweetness. It smells like it's going to be probably a hazy. It just has that kind of um, orangey sweetness that just makes me think that it's hazy. But let's 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 check it out. We'll, we'll tell for sure. So it's coming out of the can pretty yellow. It's got a nice golden kind of pour to it. Uh, sitting here collecting the glass. It's uh, actually a bit more orange in color after it's poured. Here we're looking at about a finger of head. It's it's a little bit off white. It's just slightly shading towards like an orangey white or yellow white. But it, again, with these kind of beers, it could be from the light coming up from underneath the glass, you know, bouncing off the off the bottom here. So if we hold it up to the light here again, about a finger, I actually I can see quite a bit of sediment just like sus in suspension across the top of this glass. And it's hard to see. You can I can see slight shadow through it. It looks very kind of orangey yellow. To me, to you, it probably looks a little bit more orange. So I think I'm seeing a little bit more of yellow again. It's the situation, the light situation here. And the head, as you can see, has kind of dissipated. We had about a finger, now we're looking at about a half a finger at best. Put a nose on the glass here. Oh, it smells really candied now. It, I, it smelled more of citrus on the, the can itself. But now it has much more of a candied kind of orange slash uh, pineapple kind of aroma. So let's go. I'm just ready to try this out. Cheers. So the mouthfeel is very, very uh, rooted in the medium kind of category. It's not, it's not overly heavy, but I would not consider this to be anywhere near the spectrum of being a light um, mouthfeel kind of beer. It is a little bit, has a little bit of a chewiness to it, has a little bit of a softer mouthfeel, but not super soft. It doesn't, it doesn't have like big time New England style vibes to it, but it is definitely a little bit on the softer end. Let's pour a little bit more in here and then we'll talk about the flavor. So the flavor that we're getting here, it's a lot of orange. It comes through a little bit sweeter on the upfront, a little bit of more of a sweeter orange at the beginning. 
but uh, as you swallow, the finish comes through as a more bitter orange. It's got that bitter orangey hoppiness to it. It has an orange zestiness to it. There's also a taste. There's a bit of a mango that comes through as well. Uh, sometimes if there's too much mango for me, it comes through as a little bit of a bitterness, and I feel like I'm getting a, picking up on a little bit of a mango kind of bitterness too on the finish. There's also a little bit of a sweet kind of candied flavor on the finish as well. Like I said, on the nose, on the glass, I was getting like a candied orange. I'm also getting a bit of a kind of candied sweetness on the finish, but it's mixing in with that orange and mango kind of bitterness as well. So you're getting a little bit of that wrapped in a bit of a candied sweet kind of uh, flavor in there as well. But there's some other flavor in there that I'm not really able to put my finger on. It's pretty orangey, and I think what I'm, I, I think it's just a, a combination of that orange mango um, and candied kind of flavor that's wrapping up with that bitterness. So when you take the drink, you're getting that orange and mango sweetness, then there's a bitterness to it. Actually, it's a bit, bit of more of an orange sweetness at the upfront. On the swallow is more of an orange and a mango, and then on the finish is where it's kind of it's kind of tricking me a little bit because it, you're getting that like bitterness, but then it's coming back with like this, this candied sweetness that finishes up after the bitterness. So that's even kind of throwing me off a little bit more than usual because I, it's not too often that you get bitterness that you get like sweet and then bitter from the hoppiness and then sweet again. That doesn't happen all that often unless it's kind of got pineapple. Sometimes candied pineapple can kind of do that, but I'm not really picking up on more anything more tropical than maybe orange and mango. There's not I'm not picking up on that kind of that 2021 kind of pineapple flavor either. For 9%, uh, the only thing that really makes me even believe that this is 9% or that would tip me off to the 9% is for some reason the bitterness like sometimes when when IPAs don't have like that bitterness, when they're more sweet, when they're more New England, sometimes it can be a little bit more dangerous. And I feel like I don't pick up on on the alcohol as much or if it's a higher ABV beer, if it has all that sweetness and that the bitterness is just even if it's too smooth, it's like you don't pick up on that extra. Uh, you can kind of like overlook the higher ABV. I feel like with the bitterness on this, it's just kind of making my mind think that it's higher ABV because it has that bitterness. IPAs that have more bitterness in my mind for some reason I like equate it to it being higher ABV even if that's not the case I think it's just like been conditioned into me after all those West Coast IPAs from like back in the day but this is a pretty um it's a pretty enjoyable IPA from Three Floyds like the only other hazy IPA I've had from Three Floyds is the is it like Barbarians or something? It's like the green can that looked kind of like an olive drab green with like the yellow printing and I want to say it's called barbarians or something like that i've only had it a couple times uh and that's the only other hazy that i've had all the other ones have been like even their pale ales you know zombie dust and stuff like that generally aren't very hazy so this being a hazy with like i said all that kind of sediment floating in suspension if i could get a close-up i wish i could get you closer but it's almost like it's like when you uh, have a slush that started to melt and you're getting the liquid but you're getting like you can see the ice in there the sediment hanging in here just looks like it's almost like slush ice just hanging out in the glass. It's obviously not that. But uh, yeah, this is really tasty. I think if you're a hazy fan, you'll probably really enjoy this. If you're just a regular IPA fan, you're kind of over the hazies. I think it has enough of a bitterness, a bitter quality with that orange and that mango bitterness that it would win over, you know, it's not something that's like totally in because it's hazy it doesn't mean it's a new england it's almost like in between it's almost like it's a regular ipa like an old school ipa with a bit of that kind of hazy ipa i don't know family tree in it as well so it's an interesting one from three floyds but again at this point what isn't a, <laughs> what isn't an interesting beer from three floyds i would pick this up if you're into ipas all right friends that has been 50 million dollar man from three floyds have you had this one yet or do you have a favorite three floyds beer maybe your top three three floyds let me know in the comments down below while you're down there if you like beer you might want to subscribe and click that bell i'm here talking about beer twice a week on tuesdays and thursdays it's all for free for viewers just like you and you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications you might not know to avoid a clunker you'll spend your hard-earned money on some beer that you hate because you didn't watch this channel didn't hear me tell you that you might not like it so until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries. These guys are in Munster, Indiana. And most importantly, 
don't forget to treat yourself to a little giraffe therapy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. See you next time.